Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the differences between problems that can be done without calculus and problems that will require calculus to complete. So one of the first things is the value of a function when x is given a certain value, like when x equals c. Whereas with calculus, you can find the limit of that function as x approaches c. So maybe not necessarily plugging in c like you do to value a function at c, but there will be a method to figure out what is the y value as your x value gets closer to this particular x value. The second thing is the slope of a line can be found without calculus. And with calculus, the slope of a curve can be found. Here we have a secant line to a curve. And with calculus, you can find what's called the tangent line to a curve. And this can be done with um, calculus one. So these are things that we will figure out how to do these three things. Now, another thing is the average rate of change. between two values can be done without calculus. That's simply just your slope formula. But with calculus, you can find the instantaneous rate of change. So that's basically the slope of a curve at one value for t. Um, some of the other things are you can find the curvature of a circle without calculus. That's just geometry, the circumference. With calculus, you can find the curvature of anything, a curve, a line, anything. Um, with cal without calculus, you can find the height of a curve. And with calculus, you can find the maximum height of a curve. Um, another thing that we'll be doing is you can find the direction of motion along a line without calculus and with calculus you can find the direction of motion along a curve. Another item is you can find the area of a rectangle without calculus, just using geometry, length times width. However, you can find the area under a curve, which may not necessarily create a geometric figure that we're used to calculating area for. It could look like anything, and you can still find the area underneath that curve. Some of the other things there are you can find the center of a rectangle without calculus. You can find the centroid of an entire region, whether it looks like a rectangle or not, with calculus. You can find the work done by a constant force without calculus. You can find the work done by a variable force with calculus. These are items that we will not cover in this class but you may see them in Cal 2 and Cal 3. Um, another thing is, is you can find the length or distance of a line segment without calculus, and you can find the length 
or distance of an arc with calculus. So it may not be straight, it could be curved, and you can still find the length or the distance. You can also find the surface area of a cylinder in, without calculus. There's a formula for the surface area of a cylinder. Whereas you can find the surface area of any three-dimensional object using calculus. That you won't get to until you are in calculus two. Um, the mass of a solid of a constant density you can do without calculus. The mass of um, a solid of variable density you cannot do until calculus two. The volume of a regular solid like a rectangular prism, a cube, a cylinder, a sphere, things like that that we have geometric formulas for you can do without calculus, but for all odd or non-geometric, I shouldn't say non-geometric, but for all odd-shaped three-dimensional figures, there is a way with calculus that you can still calculate the volume of a particular region. Um, and last but not least, we have the sum of a finite series. You can do Finite means it stops at some point. You can do that without calculus. But the sum of an infinite series, you would have to do with calculus. And those, again, are things that we'll address in calculus two, not particularly in this course, okay? So this is all I'm gonna cover for now, just to give you an idea of what can be done without calculus and what we will eventually be doing with calculus in this particular course. The next video will cover some examples of how to tell the difference between if I can do it without calculus or if I will require calculus to do it.